A warm good morning to all of you. I, Dr. Robin Chopra, Assistant Professor in Department of Physiotherapy at RPIIT Institute of Medical Sciences, Village Bastada Karnal. I welcome you all in our YouTube channel that is RPIIT Academics. But before watching, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share and hit the bell icon. So let's start the topic. Then coming to the third phase which is known as the intestinal phase and the final products of the cephalic and the gastric phase is the digestion of the proteins then second is the formation of chyme and the third is the controlled entry of chyme into the intestine which starts with the intestinal phase and it contains loops that helps in the feedback to further control the gastric emptying these feed forward to promote digestion, secretion, motility and absorption of nutrients. As these are the signals mainly done by the hormonal and the neural and the hormonal and the neural aspects of the intestinal phase helps in the entrance of chyme into dendrum, which gets into the enteric nervous system or mainly the secretion occurs as the secretin is the main important enzyme which helps in the slows of the gastric emptying and gastric acid production. Also it helps in the stimulation of bicarbonates mainly HCO3 production from pancreas to buffer acidic and to break down the complex particle into the smaller which is known as chyme particles. Besides this Cholecystokinin or CCK also helps in the secretion and it helps in the responses to the lipids and shows great gastric motility and gastric acid secretion. As it acts hormonally on the hypothalamus gland which is a master gland and further it helps in the secretion of incretin hormones mainly GIP or gastro inhibitory peptides and GLP-1 as GIP stands for the gastric inhibitory peptide and GLP-1 stands for the glucagon like peptide 1. This both helps in the slowing of the gastric acid and emptying and it also stimulates the insulin which releases from the pancreas. So the next is the what are the major processes occurring in the intestinal phase. So mainly three major processes. First is the buffering. Second is the digestion and third is the absorption. So coming from first that is the buffering. It is done by pancreatic exocrine secretion. Then next is the digestion which is done by the pancreatic exocrine secretion where the trypsinogen, chymotrypsinogen, procarboxypeptidase, procolipase and propolipase. These acts one by one and by bile release from gallbladder mainly the bile juice which is stimulated by the cholecystokinin or CCK and the bile emulsifies the lipids and increasing the surface areas for pancreatic lipases as it is done by the intestinal mucosal enzymes mainly the brush and border enzymes that are anchored or stick to the apical surfaces mainly the peptidases disaccharides and enteropeptidases are the enzymes which is mainly anchored to the apical surfaces and the third process is the absorption as most of the water and the nutrients are absorbed in the small intestine. So guys hope so you all understand very well and for more information please stay tuned stay healthy happy till then take care goodbye farewell and please don't forget to like subscribe share and hit the bell icon.